Metals are elements that are required for several purposes and are used everywhere. Almost all the things we see or use daily comes from metal. From the small shot we use in stitching clothes to the cars we drive, the airplanes and trains we travel in, and even the ships that move our goods across various countries of the world, all come from metal. Metals are also crucial in constructing a building, a refinery, or an industrial process plant. Why is metal important in constructing anything? The answer is simple. Metal offers immense strength, durability, accessibility, and ease of use. But despite all these strong points, metal has a major disadvantage, which is corrosion. In this video, we discuss what corrosion is and how it affects steel. Before proceeding, please like and subscribe to IOLG's international YouTube channel. Then press the bell icon for the notification of more valuable videos that we publish regularly. You can also check the description box below for more informative video links. Corrosion is the process of deterioration of the metal, resulting from a chemical or electrochemical reaction between the metal and its environment. Metal is found naturally as an ore, which is the lowest energy state of the metal. Ore is extracted from the earth through mining and is treated and refined by the steel industry using different processes such as smelting, casting, rolling, and shaping. These processes increase the metal's energy level, taking it to a higher energy state. However, the metals extracted from the primary ore tend to go back to their normal energy state after a while, due to a process of deterioration called corrosion. This process follows an unwanted reaction involving water and oxygen. In simpler terms, exposure of produced metals to the atmosphere and its components, such as oxygen and water, leads to discoloration. This discoloration, which comes as a brown or orange color, is called rust, which is a form of corrosion. Water is the principal catalyst of the corrosion reaction, functioning as an electrolyte in the corrosion cell. Common sources of water, in this case, include rainwater, condensation, fire water, and others. Unlike pure water, which performs poorly as an electrolyte, seawater is a better electrolyte that speeds up the formation of rust on the metal's surface. Corrosion leads to a loss of about $2 trillion every year globally. But that is not all. There are other adverse effects of corrosion. For instance, it leads to environmental pollution and irreversible waste of valuable resources. It also causes contamination of products and breaks down the piping, structure, and equipment. These adverse effects can lead to health and safety incidents involving the loss of human life and or asset. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos and press the bell icon for the notification. Moreover, you can also log on to our website to learn more about the various training and certification courses offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.